Every western adventure, every western ultra nice for my life this year. I frustrate it, frustrate it, frustrate it. I tell out my father, every western adventure, every western ultra nice for my life this year. I escape it now. In the name of Jesus. Lay 
Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Father, we worship you tonight. Thank yes, you for your awesome presence. Yes. Lord, we can thank you enough. Yes. Thank you for this atmosphere, Lord. You have created in our midst. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, we adore you. Yes, we Lord. We honor you. We love you. Yes, Lord. What a privilege you have given unto us to come yes, boldly Lord. into your presence tonight. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We heed ourselves to you. Yes, we Lord. ask that let tonight's meeting be a meeting of changes of destiny. Yes, Lord. A meeting of transforming life, Amen. transforming futures, oh yes, God. Lord. We ask tonight, let tonight's meeting be an encounter. For yes, a stepping Lord. level, encounter, yes, oh God, yes, Father, Lord. for a turnaround, encounter, yes, oh God, Father, yes, of a new phase yes, of Lord. ministry, a new phase of marriage. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Amen. as we go ahead, let your power be so present. Yes, Lord. The Bible said Jesus was preaching in the, the temple, and the power to heal to you, was Lord. present. Yes, Tonight, Lord. let the power to heal in the name present. of Jesus, touching every soul, touching yes, every Lord. body, yes, Lord. Tonight, yes, touching Lord. every part and every organ. Yes, of Lord. your people that are connected to this platform yes, tonight. Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. do with us what only you can do. We yes, are let Lord. your grace to minister be available tonight. Yes, Lord. Your grace of inspiration, your grace yes, of Lord. awareness in the spirit, yes, Lord. your grace of designing, oh God, yes, Father, Lord. your word tonight be made available tonight yes, that Lord. at the end your name be glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we Amen. pray. Amen. Yes. I will pray for ministers of the Thank gospel, you, pastors, yes, bishop, Lord. president of nations, yes, master. master. We ask you lay your hands on them. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Awesome time in God's presence tonight. What a beautiful atmosphere. Welcome everyone to tonight's special service in his presence. Everyone on YouTube, everyone on Facebook, and everyone connected That's right. via satellite. Wow. Yes, we say you are welcome. This is live service on this beautiful Saturday. What's today's date? Today is the 16th. 16th yeah. of March. So, wherever you are watching us from, it's 05. This is via the God Ministry. We are speaking from Castellon, Spain. Castellon de la Plana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, our city is Castellon de la Plana. <laughs> Don't start. So, we are talking from Castellon, beautiful city in Spain. So, everyone speaking to us 
or and I'm sorry, anyone connected to us, you can reach us. Our phone lines, WhatsApp is there. Even on the TV screen, people watching via TV satellite, you can write us and be part of us. Some people were calling me yesterday when the TV was rebroadcasting the past one, past one, and I was telling the lady, join us tomorrow evening. That one was passed. Today we are live. We are live every Saturday on Mrs. Marriage Relationship Strategies every Monday on Church Matters, Church and Christian Matters every Thursday. Let's go to your village and my dream, my life. People watching through satellite, everything is being written and is moving around there, our activities. Well, let's go. If you haven't done your watch party, my Zuckerberg gave you the platform to preach the gospel. So, do your watch party quickly. Do your watch party quickly. Tonight is very, very interesting because we are going to be talking primarily from divine revelation and scripture. I wanted our worship to continue while it was also part of God is all over me. I wanted that worship to continue too. Minister, you wanted that worship to continue. Of course. Even the awesome. studio person there, I was saying, stop, stop. I think he too forgot and he wanted the worship to continue. Indeed, God is faithful. Everyone coming through Destiny Williams. Mama, when you they come, Mama, when you when you they come, France. Okay. When are they come, France? Are they come? Okay. Everyone coming through the watch party. If you haven't started your watch party and you are following me, you are selfish. Yeah, hello. Okay. This person is saying hello. Take it from Zambia 265. You are you are with us. The WhatsApp you wrote is confirmed. You can join us with the conversation. Okay, God bless you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so our WhatsApp line are on the studio. Put the WhatsApp line on time. I even the want some TV station there. You can reach us from there in case you want to contribute. God bless you, everyone. So who is on what? How do I do the watch party? Okay. I didn't see I'm always, but in fact, I never saw that one who won't teach me. So Ivy doesn't know how to do watch party. Yeah. So let's celebrate the welcome of our secretary. Ivy, you are welcome. Thank God for the safe journey. You see, just few months. Mom, when are you coming to Switzerland? Says Anita, let's go. Una no start. Okay? Mm -hmm. I come to a place where there are people to organize there and bring us. Yeah. Okay? That's right. <laughs> so when I'm coming to a place, it's not a challenge. Okay, let's come. There is some parts. There are people are available, but I will not be available. But this one, uh, Siam, the question. When you organize me to come, or you already you stand on ground, and people join you and organize me to come, I come. If you say when I'm coming to France, I'm available, but somebody has to be on ground and advertise. They advertise, they call the English. All the same. And pub public publicity or join and organize it okay so somebody please put IV through yesterday I fed the power of God in that worship yeah even me this morning I rewatch and I was filled with the power of God how to watch party please people please put description once you share I don't know if your phone have it but most time it has so once you just press the share button it will show you it will put different different options yeah. And uh, it will tell you watch party. You press the watch party. Then it will tell you start. Then you start. Okay? Back is your joy. God bless you. So let's go tonight. We have some interesting topic, and I believe we'll bless. Studio, let's go with those topics tonight. Everyone coming, make sure somebody join this service tonight because of you. Everyone watching on satellite, call your friends. Make sure somebody join this service tonight because of you. Yours is to invite person. Mine is to preach the gospel. God is to win. So say if I be lifted up, I, I will draw men, men to, myself. to myself. So Paul planted Apollo water. Right. Deep secret, why ladies love dressing nude these days? Means half naked. Some of the secrets why ladies love dressing naked mini skirts or mini top or mini mini stuff this is even to church but put the other topic 
I said, if it's possible. If your husband encourages you to dress nude, make her be aware that he doesn't love you. And you may soon become a single mother. Chai. That one is hard, no? Yeah. Oh. If your husband encourages you, love you, to dress half naked when going out, is a sign, in short, if he's the one telling you now, because you may be the very stubborn type that doesn't put value to your husband. So I'm not talking to you. Okay? That one, I'm already spirit, they worry you. This has even Christians to church, yes. But if you are the type that your husband tell you that he loves you more when you are naked, going outside, you will soon become single mother. I will explain why you will soon become a single mother, why your married days are number. Mommy, your voice is echoing. Wow, well, studio, check why. Let me check why myself. That's why I hold this earpiece. I want to repeat the two topic again. Secrets, why women love Okay, don't worry, it's not equal. See that off your gadget and refresh it. Yeah. We shall be more meal. Wait, I never even start. Holy Ghost fire, mommy. Okay. They don't they put. Okay, maybe because I mentioned my money, they worry the person. Almost lead one. We can provoke some people. Secret, why ladies love dressing nude these days, even to church? Number one, if your husband encourage you to dress, it is say. Each time you wear this mini skirt, your hips will be out. Don't say, yeah, nah, today I'm nah, the lesson strategies. So you get the one when I they got, when I they guide, you get the statement. When I they open, bah, make the statement go slap you. Huh? So carry chair, listen where this topic is not correct. Yeah, voice is okay, I know. It's what she's using. And you can see, say, your husband, they like you when you wear mini or when you wear those light cry. No, like I stick. I don't know the name given to those one, those shiny lights. Those one you wear, it look as if you are not wearing anything. Everything about the last. Because like cry, there are like cry. Maybe it's called like cry, like cry. <laughs> because like cry materials those days, and you wear them, they can, you know, they help me put fire. But they are the ones that when you wear them, you you yourself, if you are not close to the person, you think the person is naked. And some of you will go and wear the color of your skin. Una want four pastors. <laughs> uh, the hats will not prick them. They will not go to church. They say some pastors on churches don't allow women to sit at the front. Say the pastors are, are discriminating. They are not discriminating. They are not here now. They are not discriminating at all. They are not. I think maybe this is the first time. Now I hear it very well. There are some churches in my country where they don't allow women to sit front. I hate them. They are not discriminating, eh? Because if Marie Spirit don't package you, finish. You can't say, you won't come stay front seat. Go put your two leg. Eh? You know that it shows me like I start very, very transparent. Just a swallow. <laughs> Kadri Wata. Wow. Thank you. Transparent. This one tell like now. Bring in Ali Express people made their con yell. Those people made them like mini sexy dresses. It's a fire mommy, Kadri Kota. Do you know why I brought this topic? So that you understand why I started like this now. Hmm? So don't worry, my sister Ivy is back. <laughs> So as you know, whenever he asked me, me to type it, so even if I don't yeah. repeat it, <laughs> Ivy, you are welcome. You see, Ivy have his vision around my vision. Yeah. So we are both working together. So many of you have your visions around my vision. So Ivy have discovered calling since I've been on Facebook. Even when some daughters of sedition were warning against her, she said, "No, you get where I get comfort. Now there they go. <laughs> I agree." <laughs> Mommy, I better drink water still early. More water, mommy, Linda. <laughs> now, I'm really drinking water. 
Ah, so that I can encourage myself. Eh? So I know that this one, you day. Which one is gold shot dress? Gold shot? It's not, it's not gold shot, they call it a, they call it bomb shot. I mean, I'm gone. It's no gold. <laughs> See what happened. Sister Grace, I have a revelation. Since I put mouth, please, I never tell you. Now, let me bring this topic now. Just start with some hot, provocative, uh, and some stuff, you know. Sister Grace, I have a revelation three days ago. You see, I mentioned the name. She had a revelation where she saw God came. And God came, Jesus came, and brought the face of somebody that she honor and she happened to be in the church where she was trying to arrange chairs okay and the lord jesus was in that program and while they were trying to arrange chairs the lord jesus got provoked and was leaving and she said why lord don't go he said i can't stay here look at my daughters look at what they are wearing oh my god oh my god he said look at my daughters look at what they are wearing you can't worship me with skimpy clothes the Lord Jesus said that one. And while she was begging and ready chair, Lord, don't go. The Lord said, I can't. There. And the Lord used a statement. There's one marine, some of these marine daughters and marine magicians on Facebook. And the Lord mentioned that marine person name, say, these are the people spoiling them. Oh my God. And why she tried to plead with God, eh? the Lord left that assembly he said they can't worship me with their skipping clothes choir singers tomorrow on a sunday it's not even like you're going to see nigeria you that's watching me in my country and you know i'm so happy these days because i'm happy to talk to everybody go and see my country that used to put mothers in church go and see their choirs most, most of the churches now all of you are ironing your skimping trousers and your tight leggings tomorrow is sunday you are building up abomination to carry to the church of God tomorrow. All of you were watching me now. All of you watching me. Tomorrow is Sunday now. You are arranging your bomb shots. You are targeting one brother to collapse tomorrow. Huh? You are targeting the destiny that you want to fall tomorrow. So you are just thinking how you are going to one microphone and stand where your he that is like Mount Jericho. You see them. All their he go high. They don't wear it when they are coming to church, you no, know, because sand go for them. So the, the where that is needed is between oh, is between the, the church and the church. Uh, you, the church is in trouble. The church because that's what there's nobody to show to our side. It is the church that people gather. Yeah. So the mini skirt is for the church. So when you see some church, you say they don't allow women to sit at the front. It's not that they hate women. It's an abomination for a woman to wear mini skirts and be throwing it a pastor have blood. Tomorrow now, now a couple for Facebook say pastor for who fall him? Now who fall him? Why will he not fall when he has blood in his body? You will not end the matter there when you close. You want to see daddy. God go punish every Maria agent of darkness that are falling down pastors. See them on Facebook now. Mommy, I know you will start. This is not a funny topic. Please stop. Help me. No, no, let them let one laugh. They need to hear this. Everybody can laugh, but they will learn. They will learn. You see, they use it. Yes, they put on Facebook. A pastor went to a hotel with a woman and she fell. So, you woman, you were carefully your pastor, man of God. When I go use body, rob the pastor, rob, 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 rob. The man will come and think different, different things. When a marine kid or couple, I said, be human being because the pastor. It is when immoral dress is full everywhere that pastor begins to fall married to women. When I be the cause. Now, the cause, you came to see daddy. You will not, you go and wear mini clothes. Huh? You wear mini clothes. Now, that you don't go even see clothes. Make you see carry your team When you don't really leave you, go. You want to see daddy one on one for office. Huh? You got the verse for mommy, pack, 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 pack. We don't want to hear about mommy at all. Because mommy is an obstacle to you. Because you want to marry mommy husband. God is warning all of you. Huh? Miniscated demons. God is warning all of you. And my scripture is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Okay, mommy, gunshot is different from gunshot. See, and then no. I don't know how. 
Now they are taking our pump shots. Thank you. Then now, signs of the last days. First Corinthians chapter 16, only verse 19. It's okay. First Corinthians 16, 19. Mommy, mommy, you even know the name, bomb shots. What's wrong with them? Am I not on this age? What are you talking about? I get when I know that church. No, no, it shouldn't be First Corinthians. It should be six. This is six. First Corinthians six nineteen. They are laughing. One, one on one show of sister in Christ receives sense. Six nineteen. What? No, you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Bible says you are bought with a price. First Corinthians six nineteen. Now the Lord God anoint. I may come every day many churches again. One, two, three. Everybody in this kind. They have minimized the anointing in a man of God's life. I come to talk to you, you wicked sister. You don't know you are wicked because you are doing the works of darkness. All this mini mini skirt, mini gum. The funny part is that the the blouse I am using. All those mini three quarter blouse that I'm using on top skirt is what people are using as gum. That's right, yeah. My God, what I'm wearing as as blouse, it is gum. All those blouse they are selling that is here, those lace, the lace, top people is gum. Any cloth a woman wear and you can't bend down. You can't bend down. And as you are entering, you are drawing it. You are drawing it. You are drawing it. You are drawing it. Why your tailor not so a rich way go cover you before? Huh? So me, I'm telling you now. It is dangerous because when they, I, I don't those they are like when the pastors are they they are they, they are segregated. They are doing this. Why we did not put them at the front? Sir, ma, hear me. Hear me. You can stand the ground. In this generation, it is better they don't stay. Some of them will come carry small, small rag, follow body come. When they sit down, they can use them. If you know the shame, why you can't they use small, 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 small rag? If you be, wow. why you feel the shame? Wait till come and make you. Wait till make tell or no, no fast swam. Eh? So wait if I make, wait if I make you come go by. Do not any day here. If you don't get target, if money not they use your heart, if your heart is not is not defied because of the abundance of the heart, Mass you do something. Yeah. I saw their tailor, no. I saw a tailor they shape puna for them. Not be so they buy a tailor do shape. Now the message before I enter the message when I write tonight. Why women are dressed like this? If you don't know, I know. And I will talk about if you are doing it. And if you have a husband who tells you. I like you when you put on that mini. You are about to be single mother. Huh? Let me tell you. And I will analyze it. Number one. Sister. Sister said the Lord left. So the Lord hates it. You are watching me. If you are quiet. I don't start with quiet. I become a dex. Now the devil for the start. You know that they stand for front. And that's why they will never want to be in congregation. Most of these girls, when they carry me, they scatter them on the worker. They can like to go stay quiet. Huh? Now, make if you pull up for choir, say they tie a well on skirt, some go come out. Because they were on mission. So they find where you go see marine daughters for church. Now they go, they find choir, they go. So that they can wear mini skirts. If you pull up, if they are not ready for God, they go first come out. You know why? Because now they're there front. Hey boy, they view them. Go see all of them sit down like this. See, they go, they see their laps. No, say last, not be new thing now. That's that. So the Lord has won against you. Everybody watching me. Tomorrow is Sunday. Put your members. Uh, he said they can't sing to me. Put them in order. Especially your workers, your choir. Put them in order. Mini skirts, skimpy tight clothes, like cry. Put them in order. Put them in order. Put them in order because the Lord is angry. The Lord left that church in that revelation. The Lord is angry. Said, My daughters cannot sing to me in skimping clothes. Huh? Put them in order. God, the verse. So, anyway, you're hearing me. 
He said, that is why they don't listen to preaching. Thank you. They don't listen to preaching. No. Huh? They were wakako. 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 They don't sit in one place. No, 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 no. They can't sit. No, they were wakako. Thank you. They were wakako. And they won't stay. Well, because they want you to see what they are wearing. With their zapato. <laughs> they are big, big mountain shoe. They were wakako. 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 They are so we not heal anybody. They are so we not be anointed. But people who can sing, they don't remember to wear shoe. They wear la skirt, then no man. And you see oil flowing. But all these ones with their mini and their high shoe. When you wear mini, you can't put high shoe. You have extended the mini to be more which English? Yeah. Mini shoes. So the Lord left the church. So let's go for this man. Any man, I want to prove it for you. Mommy preacher, but I pray they hear because tomorrow they will do what? Hey, son, go take. When you ask what the pastor preach, they don't know. Thank you. So I say, <laughs> They don't know about the Sidani altar. They don't know. Thank you. They will come to church late to destroy people of God. God that means, Una no. Now they, 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 some of them, they quick come. So that when they are coming, they all attend. Nah. Eh. When they are coming, nah, eh. God is not happy. When they are coming, they all attention. We'll be on them. We'll be on them. Oh my God, that's spirit of Jezebel. That's a bad spirit. And my pain, that kind of woman go work out, follow husband, they come. Husband, Mr. Husband, follow you, come off a house. Wear that scarf, head tie. Eh? As a skirt. That one is there. So let's, then let me tell us some of the reasons why I say that if your husband Celebrate your nakedness. He not love you. So the church that they go before you, they talk to. I bet the day your place there, don't go and cause wala for yourself. Some churches are like that. If a man loves you, he wants your nakedness to be for him alone. Confirm. Hmm? If a man loves you, eh? He converts your nakedness for himself. That is why no man will be happy to come and see another man on top of his wife. So if your husband loves you to be naked, eh? he doesn't love you, he is lost in upon what you carry. That's the truth I want you to know. If you're, because your nakedness is for him at home. Yeah. Your nakedness is for him in the night, in the day, in your house. So why will he have joy in telling you to dress naked to go out? You are like a whore to him. Why? He can't control his sleeping though. He's sleeping though. He has an urge huh? for prostitute. I'm telling you, Mr. Man, hear me clearly. He can't do without being moved. Eh? His pen is always ready to read to write a book. Eh? So he can't stay. So he, he, because he already has you, so he should prefer to cover you because it's your glory, and go out with you. And when you come, you take off this clothes for him, Adam. So if he enjoy you to be naked. To go out with you for a show. It's not because he overloves you. Because you are for him. It's because he can't control himself. Not over you. No, he has a loss eating him deep. And so he wants to be seeing the loss in you. That's why some of them will threaten you. If you don't dress along with me like this, I'll go and follow. That's the truth. What's the reason why they tell you to dress mini to them? Yeah, because they have a loss inside. Mr. Man, that's where your challenge is. That's where so you are trying to use this one to package. So you are getting to try. You forget that there's a difference between what unbelievers do as girlfriend. This one is not your girlfriend. This one is your wife. Huh? This one is your wife. So you don't know what the difference between a wife and a girlfriend because your loss doesn't have boundary. Loss has no boundary when it comes to that stuff. Loss doesn't know whether it is boyfriend, girlfriend, or a wife. Loss just want to go and write book. 
So you want anywhere you go, you want to be seeing your wife half naked so that your loss can be filled. You want to be fulfilling your lustful desire. So that's why you threaten the woman. If you don't dress naked, I will see another woman outside though. And that's the truth. So you lost control. That's it. So when that woman is out of sight, then you look for another woman. Because you can't control your urge. It's a one thing I've noticed as a single lady. The only pride you have, and for men not to talk down you, is when they have never seen your nakedness. <laughs> your body is your pride. Help me say it well. So how can a man be happy? Your husband. Be happy to package you for public. How? How can a man be happy? This, this. That, that's why let I go, go dump you for one country. Let I go tell you, say, come and go to some country. Go and give birth. Before you know it, as you are stepping out, somebody is stepping in. Yeah. Because the man's eyes can't leave lost. Mm -hmm. So, when the man loves you, he wants to have you alone. He doesn't want somebody to see part of you well. But when a man is lost in after everything on skirt, because he wants to be filled, he's lost to be filled. So even when he's everywhere, that's why a husband can be with a wife, even in public, and begin to tap the woman, bum bum anyhow, your own wife, handling her as a whole. Now lost, not love. The summer is hard, Abby. They call it modern, general, modern world. It's not modernization. No, 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 no. It is never called modernization. Yeah. It is lust and stupidity. Because this woman belongs to you inside your house. From Zambia. God bless you. We are watching. We are seeing you continue. Share to your friends and loved ones. God bless you. Pastor. So when you see, don't let the word bring what is no real. Yeah. Uh, it was never like that. Somebody I have in my house as my wife, why do I need to get to her side and begin to touch her body in public and showing love? No, you lustful. You can't control your libido, you can't hold yourself. You just want to make your you just want to make your fire. You are looking for her to come it because this is your wife already. You have her in the morning, you have her in the night, you are even protecting her. She belongs to you. So you can't begin to squeeze her body parts in the public and you are assuming that I love her. No, 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 no. You are lustful. If she is not there now, you are going to squeeze another one. So no real husband. I face you. Possible as a man to be happy when a woman dressed nude? Wow. Don't know what to say. Yeah, of course. There's so many things in it, Pastor. Wow. Mm. There's so many. There's so many things in it. Mm. <laughs> so let's go. So number one, a husband that do that is lost in. Another thing that you know that a man is lustful, which I want to encourage, I, I do speak to some of the daughters and I've begged them several times, don't involve. Mr. Man, you may think you are doing it ignorantly. This this video call. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. He said, grabbing your wife selectively in public shows you do not respect her and yourself. Thank you, man. Thank you. So women think they are doing it to impress their husband. So we don't look at that women outside. It's impressed their loss. They are doing it to free their loss. That's the truth. Because the woman is not secured. So that's the truth. Just like that too. Thank you. Video calls have put many people in pro problem. How can a, a man Tell the wife, send me your naked picture, let me be having it. This world is finished. Yeah. Nude pictures everywhere, abomination don't fall everywhere. Technology is not what you think again. Immediately somebody send you WhatsApp. If you open it, it is stored on gallery. Most phones. 
Oh my God. They send me your nude picture. It's lost. And they, what you don't they see for years? Now they see they send you because you know they are around for one month or one week. Uh, so what I what is this generation turning into? Huh? Nude pictures, naked pictures. Huh? I'm hearing many things. A woman carry a picture about it, it phone, put her for the take her, go send her to another man friend and in their husband's house. I'm hearing plenty. Why will your husband? So if I want to send her, my husband wants to send her to a colleague. Never go lick you. What is going on? Video calls. He says, my husband. Nobody says, it's not your husband. But you are inviting demons. You are inviting demons. A young lady coming from nowhere many years ago. It's all false, mommy. So it's all false now. So once you open WhatsApp or message, you go and start in gallery. So tomorrow you can dash somebody the phone. Or maybe you're even sending other things. That one just join. A lady coming some years ago from Norway. What happened? She had a relationship with a guy through phone. And the guy told her that he wants to he won't do through phone. Video call. And she told the guy, I don't want I'm a Christian. And the guy told her, that it's not anything. It's video. Did we do? We didn't just really do it now. And this guy agreed. And they started doing video call in the night. They did this for it. But this guy said, I'm not doing it again. And they stopped. But this, uh, when it is that time, something comes to do this game. Life. Yeah. A demon took advantage of it. of it. Once it is that time, a demon come and climb that game. What are we doing? What's happening? What's this word coming, turning into? Video call? A sensible man can never demand a nude picture from his wife. They are doing that's why they are not sensible. Picture your private part from his wife. When I watch it, I will fool. This is wickedness. You go and see private parts of women everywhere. 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 People are sharing people's private parts. He said that my husband and give. And the husband said, Go get a girlfriend. And the girlfriend, because that's what I'm saying. Any mother can demand. Of that from you is lossful. That's why they have girlfriends. Yeah, Pastor, but there is something that uh, uh, you see. This, if we are many people that are already in the in this problem, and you know, once a problem is arriving, we always remember the foundation to build their yeah. marriage, because there are so many people that are building their marriage in this, and the 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 couple. Is this is what they enjoy before they become husband? And they want to be a girlfriend and boyfriend, and these are the things that they enjoy. They can't do without it. You see, so and these are the things that you know that wow, my fiance is why he like the way I dress. He loved this. He loved it when we are going or when we are cutting each other. So, but that many people now, as we are saying, they are already in this problem and they don't know how to come out from it. Yeah. But I, I'm going to talk about the people that are knowing the people. This, you know, how you build your marriage at the beginning matters. Confirmed. What you are going to see in your marriage is determines the, it determines the foundation you build it today. Yeah. So if you build your marriage on this physical and this, yeah. you know, earthly things, yeah. you know, that movies a man. So, of course, this is what the man is going to enjoy continually. continually. And if you are denied, that means you are, you are going to put the man outside yeah. because you already know the man, you already know the lady. So, it's, we are supposed to be careful and how you build your relationship because whatever you establish at the beginning, continue with it. Yeah. You see, many people, many people, when they are cutting each other, you know they are in, you know they are moved with all these things yeah. you know they are they are attached that's to why it. Can't move them. Yeah. See, so and they cannot do without it yeah they love the world some of them even choose the cloth maybe yeah. they are going out with their partner and maybe the lady want to do some shopping and they are the one that picks some yeah. all those things because she, she this is what the man like mm. he want the he want the wife to dress like this this is what makes the man happy yeah. and they go through it but it's, it's not good you see mm. because it's not good once a lady stop giving dressing like that that's why we said at the beginning in this marriage that the way you dress when that man met you is a problem 
is he going to continue dressing like that? Because, because so even when some guy born again, you yeah. see the man begins to like look at how you now look. Yeah, because, it's not because they look bad. Well, it's just that it, the, the, the man wants you to continue. But, of but that's why a man should be taught that God's friend life is different from and people. And that is like, why they need to build it at the beginning. Oh see, my these God. Are, these are the things that that's why the Bible says don't be equally yoked with unbelievers. Believer. So he must, he must be but aware. But is he going to put it within believers? Yeah, that is believe that they be modernized. Yeah, because that is a problem. That's my friend. My friend is not in unbeliever now because some believer they are managing to keep each other out. Yeah, that is. But there are believers who are learning from the world. Of course, yeah. There are believers who want to dress very well. Yeah. But because they are not seeing the system of the world, they are not blending. Of course, to, to, it. to be like the world. Yeah, they are Christians. Yeah, 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 but that is that is. They are Christians. They don't believe in socialization. You know, see them are being proud as a pastor wife. I, I used yeah. to dress like a, a village woman. Now I'm civil. I'm not concerned about the unbelievers. Who are trying to? I'm talking about the Christians living their morals. And I'm not ready. trying to learn from their word, believing that we need to be modernized or be mugu. That's my pain. Yeah, it's, 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 that, is, that is the problem. Because they never began like that. No, they didn't begin. Yeah. And so they are learning from their words now. Of course, of course, of course. They are learning from. They are learning from their words. Every single Christian, Christians that, that is very bad. Which is very, very bad. Do you not believe that you are not, you are, you are not standard enough, you are not appreciated enough. Everybody is not changing different. Changing styles, changing, becoming naked and becoming nude and just things you know, you are not like ah, this civilized world that cannot be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you not see pastors who are protesting, women who used to be decent protesting. The, the ones that are in the world, no challenge. But the ones that are most appalled, more are good dress. What is happening to the generation? Yeah. Everybody is not trying the way they are long skirt, everybody is not putting on tight trousers, everything tight fisted. Everybody, you hardly see ladies dress and not try to bring out their posts. And see everybody looking for some blood that will push everything out. And it, the what is just it just happening too fast. Yeah, yeah. And people are buying it to it. You see, people see some kind of long fingers, different colors of painting, and excess, everything excess and with mini skirts and everything, mini and tight stuff, yeah. and taking microphone to preach. And oh my god, I saw a woman preaching this. The, the skirt that one was wearing was too mini. How can a preacher wear a skirt that is shorter than the knee with the pig laps from the altar? You are causing havoc yeah. to the men in that yeah. church. Yeah, yeah. And, and the point that you see this type of dressing, you just give a man a one signal. It's the point that pastor, it's not only. That you are that you are attracted to your husband, but you are attracted to every other man. That's what I'm saying. And don't be shocked that don't be shocked that that you may have not be thinking in your mind that you are dressing to please other man. But other but person, your signal, your your impression you. already give a signal already yeah. to men around. And there are some weak men when they see your hip alone, they are moved. Yeah, even some men will approach you. That's the why it's so, happening now. Yeah, and don't be embarrassed because of that is it the way you that is when you dress. The way you appear. And you are why you are telling men that I'm a very I'm available, but husband it's, can't say anything. Yeah, and yeah, that is the point. And maybe we are dressing for your husband. Uh -huh. But the impression you're not giving to the because world. Because the men know that you don't need the special dressing for no, your husband no, because no, he owns no. you inside. Yeah, that is it. If that, that is, is the mindset, because if you feel that the dressing you are dressing to public is for your husband, you're already missing something. Yeah, of course. Because your husband has the naked body and not everything. You are dressing to come out to so that the world can value you. So if you think that I'm dressing, I say you are seeing it that marriage, women, marriage, men, everything has spoiled. Yeah. Everybody is not dating each other. Everything is missed us now. Because this way, marriage, women dress like a girl, draw dress with bone shots, and boys are there. And mama, look at you. Mama, you look nice. Mama, you look soft. Mama, you look after. after the guy is beginning to touch mama. Mama okay. is beginning to look for younger. Things beginning to change. Because you are the one that attracted mama, attracted the young guy. Before you know it, everything just boy. You want to be invoked, you want to be raised, to be raised, you don't want to be abandoned. And you know, woman, when a young guy come and tell you, Mama, you look soft, Mama, you look nice, Mama, you look beautiful. The next thing we hear is abomination has happened. Huh? Because if Paul say, if what I am doing, if eating meat will make my brother to fall, I will stop eating meat. So you are not just to impress yourself, you are dressing for other people's sake. Why is it that at home? You don't tie those clothes. At home, you become normal. Because you are not impressing yourself. You are not impressing your husband either. So your dressing outside is for others. Not even for your husband alone. When you dress well, that is when you are impressing to your husband. Impressive to your husband. But your husband owns you. He knows when you haven't bath. 
He knows when you haven't taken your bath. He knows when you haven't brushed your mouth. He knows who you are. He knows when your undies are not clean. Your husband knows you. So who are you really going to impress? Is somebody outside there. He impresses your husband by dressing well and corporate. Not coming out nakedly. Nakedness where your husband is see without anything on top. So we must understand these pictures. So the reason for the odd way of dressing today because the puppet is occupied now by S. <laughs> What did they have? Whatever there is, you don't vest for some time. He said the reason for the odd way of dressing today is because the puppet is occupied now by ex prostitute, either as pastor or as pastor. <laughs> ex prostitute should tear. That is true. But that is true. But ex prostitute should tear ex cloth. No, but the point is that uh, what is strange. See their body. What is, what is saying? You know, because these are the the people that the people Brought in the church in. looking at. I'm telling you. You see, because of imagine you are a pastor in a church. Bless and, your mama joy. And you are dressing like that. You are already telling the congregation this dressing is okay. As that is the picture. So everybody can. Dress you are like free. This. You yeah. See, so that is a problem that you know that happening in the kingdom of God today because of the Christian this dressing pattern have changes every that everything has changed everything have changed that people are looking from the altar to thank the, you to dry and they see that the pastor's wife or the pastor himself the dress that is the, the dressing it is what the other one look at yeah and before you know it everybody begin to dress I've seen pastor wife wearing that mini cap yeah. that I'm talking in a blouse I've seen I was sitting there with a the pastor wife I said it several times in the conference. And I look at what he was wearing. I, the man was talking about how many branches he had. Because of what the wife was wearing sitting down. I disrespected that man. I didn't want to talk to him. I just walked away from there. I'm like, with all these branches you are talking about, look at what the, your wife is wearing. Mini gun. The last one showed is sitting down close to me. I said, this kind of a conference. A geo wife with branches. Put on this cloth. If a geo wife can wear this, what about the pastor's, the, the associate pastor's wife? Me the scattered demons. I got one word for those people. They are not serious. They need deliverance. <laughs> so they carry that job as profession. We put on the... Uh, nah, eh. So you cannot differentiate between believers from more believers with their dressing. Uh, but if somebody is an S, uh, if, if the if person is an S, I think the person should S whatever the person is. Uh, I think the person should change Minister, the person should I believe that if somebody is a nurse dressing anyhow, I believe he should change being a Christian. Or that's society. So people have put even repented. So all that were just given to them then. Wow. Because I can't understand. The first thing a believer should do when you give your life to Christ is to change your wardrobe. I can't understand. Do we come with our pieces, pieces clothes? So so when the master demanding, that's why I stop. Huh? So that's why we have to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is involved in our life. Become our teacher. There are times I want to dress or make up. I just lose interest. Confirm. That's just like if the Holy Spirit is not there, you can dress nakedly. So let's speak in tongue. Demanding for video. Mr. Men, hear me. Demanding for video or photo to be holding. Now I fire. To be so. So the love in the man's heart, in the woman. Not, not get it clear. I think the woman should be able to love the man enough, or the man love the wife enough to be able to love the person with the picture, even if it's not around. Of course. Somebody you stayed with you love. The picture alone of who that person is and talking on phone, that passion should remain. Yeah. So if it is the nakedness that the man needs, the love is not there, you will soon become a single mother. This is my message. The God, love is of the heart. So I don't need to see you to love you. If you are my husband or you are my friend, it doesn't even need to be husband, even as friends. You are still talking. No, Pastor, this is demonic. It's, it's, what are you saying? This is a demonic. So it, that, that's what I'm saying, that if a husband is demanding for such things, he's lost it, and that, that is so to it's demonic. It's demonic. It's not a... Because you already love your wife or love your husband, is enough for you to think about your husband, think about your wife, and you are just happy. And you call them up for now, are you sweet that? Demanding for video or picture of the private part to be using because the partner is not around means you are lustful. No, it's, it's a terrible case. No, eh? This one is demonic, man. It's not. But a, that's what is ready now. Yeah, for the world, you know, anything that is, you know, this, these things are. Christians are lost. Of eh? course, there is many all Christians this are good. bad thing that people want to camouflage to make people to believe that it's right. But 
no matter how you look at it, it's not right. Anyone that do that, whether a man that demand it off from the lady that demand it, is is demonic. It's not a good one. So that's how I went to a church. See, Pastor, I cover her last week doorway yeah. because the dress was too short. Oh my God, Christian today don't read the Bible anymore. Yeah. Don't let it their pastors or pastor's wife. All you hear is my pastor, child evangelist. All the clothes that are wearing, all the clothes they are wearing are new shape clothes. And these clothes are from demonic kingdom. Oh. All this new tight skin, like that stuff. All this stuff, stuff that just want to. Why will a cloth always want to show? Why? I don't know how they feel. Minister, if ordinary people are doing motivational and motivational speaking, if their breast doesn't come here, they are not satisfied. Where is the, the mind of people are corrupted though? All this is to think is a joke. If you don't see their laughs or their boss, they don't bring them. They are not just the, the mind is being corrupted. It's a very serious issue, I'm telling you. Of course, you are right. Then you see somebody purposely wants to show the tattoo on their body and wants to bring everything about their boss to this place and they just want to they, the mind is correct because if the mind is alive, you'll be ashamed. They are happy doing it. Of course. You see a woman put the bonbons and shaking it on video on Facebook. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on here? The mind is corrupted and this is entering into church. The mind is, if the mind is not corrupted, you, you, there is no shame in them. They find by all means, what's the dress? Who told you that your glory is in bringing out your empty boss? Where did they get that picture from? Who told you your glory is in seeing your laughs? Where did this picture come from? It's a corrupt mind. And you are carrying this into church. Tomorrow is Sunday now. Imagine some nations now. People, people are poor into church. Go and see them on the streets. You wonder. What's the difference between party and Bible talk about the anti of a lot? That's why God showing that revelation that is angry. You can't worship it with skippy clothes. People don't wear this kind of clothes to worldly party. Because they say where they will look you. And now people wear worldly party clothes to the church. Of course. And so how do you want the Holy Spirit and God to look you? God is not happy. Only that Sunday you will still go to church. You still empty everything you carry. Looking for a prey. God is not happy. That's what he's showing in the revelation. Tomorrow is Sunday. God is not happy. Let's go. Mommy, mommy, mommy there, was a day, there was a day I saw a picture of a pastor wife on Facebook. I took the picture. I sent it to my pastor. Because the pastor is a spiritual son to my pastor. I asked daddy. I asked my daddy to correct the pastor wife. See? He said, Mark, I'm going to make a video from a cheap woman without morals. I'm coming there now, sweetheart. Yeah. See, this is a serious issue. God bless your daughters with godly men. That's my prayer every day. God, let my husband love you than me. That's why you must marry a man that loves God. Error mindset. There are so much concern about pastor wife, you see. Imagine we are saying so, you see. This is not all pastor wife I born again. I love pastor wife so much, you see. Everybody's talking about pastor wife because they are learning from you. Yeah. Why are they pushing to pastor wife? Because if mommy dress well, people will learn to dress well. Are you hearing so? Even if some are rebellious, but at least there are some possibilities that some will dress like mommy. You see all of them saying, Pastor wife, what is this signal? Is that mommy they are watching you? Mommy they are watching you. If you are carrying white, brown hair, mommy they will carry. Mommy, if you are wearing tight trousers to church, mommy they will wear. Mommy, your people are watching you because you are their mother. So mommy, they call it package. You may God have mercy. Complete. Mommy, so pastor, I was past member. You see? Any comment when I want it, they go back. You see? Here, I, it is written clearly at the last, the many shall be lovers of themselves. You see? You see? Everybody is pointing back to pastor wife. Quickly, I want to talk on this very, very important one of why secret, why women dress naked. Yeah, apart from the husband now, if a man is looking for you to be naked, he's lustful. And if you are not there, he will go and look for another woman. Some of the reasons why women dress naked. Number one, lack of vision. Is that does that concern? Yes, sir. Lack of vision creates low self-esteem, timidity. Ask a girl, why are you dressing like this? 
so that people will appreciate me. Minister, put it down in your mind. If you see a lady suddenly start to dress naked, she wants appreciation from people. Yeah. She has lost her own bearing. She has lost her own vision. So she needs somebody to applaud her. She needs some accolade. She wants somebody to say you are beautiful. Many young girls that are dressing naked, both women. This is what I've studied in them. Huh? They are not secured. They feel they are not beautiful enough again. So they want you to tell them you look beautiful. Huh? This is them. I've studied them, at least. I speak to many, I, 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 I talk to many, I encourage many, but from what I've been able to read, low self-esteem. And I know that it's lack of vision because if you have vision, you know where you are going. So nothing will make you to be too low. Even some of the women, you're talking about Pastor White, members, they try to now, say not they dress well. Low self-esteem. And any day you wear mini skirts, when you used to wear normal skirts, you now wear mini skirts, come. There must be up to five people that day that will tell you, Mama, you look beautiful today. Yeah. Why? You just draw an attention. When you dress normal, you already normal, you don't draw any attention. But when you begin to minimize your skirt, so if that is what is entering your head, I am telling you where the challenge comes from. So if you used to be normal yourself, uh, tomorrow, imagine I just go to church and I put on mini. It's because if I'm not a pastor, then maybe I'm a pastor, I sit it down, or a believer, a member like that, and I close my eyes, oh my God, you look sharp. Oh my God, you look stony. Oh my God, you look gallant. When they, by the time five people give me this, different, I'm like, oh. So I've been a mugu since. Oh, this is nice. Look at the alcoholics everywhere. Then it entered my head. This is what I've seen. Low self-esteem. Huh? I've spoken to several ladies. It is low self They are not contented with themselves. Nobody is applauding them. So they, they are not making the news. Okay, so they want to, since they change their clothes, people are like, wow. Yeah. Wow. You know you look cool. You are gallant. You look beautiful. You look mamishous. Uh -huh. This words begins to move them. Oh my God, tomorrow they remove one more inch again. Wow, you look stunning. You are dressing beautiful. You look young. When they begin to tell Mama, you look young. Mama, something don't enter your brain. <laughs> so you begin to, it's low self esteem. Because if you have something you are chasing in the future, what you wear, normal, will satisfy you. You are not looking for some accolades. You know you are beautiful already. You are contented. And you look take away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Mama will go say, uh -huh. So I fight like this. Next week, Mama removed two inch. You look sexy. You see that? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mommy, I remember when I was. Christians are being deceived by the trading thing of you must be f fit. Ignorant ones are running up and down to slim down. They are be reshaping their clothes <laughs> just to fit in as for me. I'm big. <laughs> now I just plus. <laughs> I'm big but I'm beautiful. <laughs> this evangelist typing. She's tall. And flumby, you are not fat. <laughs> so she's telling you, I'm big, but I'm beautiful. <laughs> so you don't want to eat juice. <laughs> wow. But I remember when I was very young, like six to nine years old, if you see born gay Christian sister, she will not even tell you from her dress, you will know. Yeah. This sister is born again. Yeah. Mr. But we don't know now again now. Now from mouth, they explain now. Yeah. It's only a few now that you know. You don't know some of them. I don't explain now. I asked a lady many years ago. This class went to church. Can you wear to party? He said yes. I said it's good for party. He said yeah, it's okay. I said that means it's not good for church. It's not good for church. You hear that? Remember I shared a story of us of one of my beautiful daughters those days who put on a very mini skirt. 
And I thought that was this. Next time you wear this, she went to provoke. And in the night, God met her and won her. That's to say God is not happy. God is not happy. Those days, in these days, we are not the one telling you I'm a born again. I could to Balibosh. I speak it on. Now we couldn't explain who we be. But whereas they were called Christians in our church because their attitude explained. So when you come to office now, now born again go explain to you, say, I'm a born again. I've got to so so church. I don't think they will explain born again, explain their denomination. Yeah, Pastor, you know, <laughs> in this marriage relationship, you know, they point that if a, if a man that uh, handling his, his family and suddenly see his wife buying expensive things or, you know, to come out shop. At least I believe that one question in your <laughs> mind is that I, am, I think I'm not the one giving this woman this money mm -hmm. to buy those things. You see, because it's in two ways. Because there's so many that are happening in marriage today that men are not aware and you are, they believe that well, we should give women free hand. And that's, that's why it's, it's always good for you to we, we talk about, you know, having this passion between you and your wife and yeah. let your wife know who you are and Confirm. you know communicate to, together Confirm. because if this communication is not there the wife is living his life the way he and wants I, yeah. and the man is living the way he wants so yeah. there is this confusion but let let me I just, just want to bring this point that there's so many family today that the wife you see is suddenly changed yeah and you know, suddenly change. I begin yeah. to dress, you know, like you said, many things. Because it's a fine boy. And yeah, so but he, he, so that is a, for me, that is a signal. The woman is giving because if the husband is not giving you money to buy all those things, you are wearing a Brazilian hair. Because I myself, I'm sure, maybe your husband is working. It's possible the man is giving. It's possible the woman have money too. Yeah. So he, 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 I'm, 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 I want to talk about the one that is I not even giving. Yeah. Before talking about the one that yeah, is having, of course. because there's so many majority. Yeah. yeah. People, it's easily for you to discover because my wife cannot be wearing this expensive thing yes, that I, I cannot afford. afford. Yeah. I cannot afford. You see, he cannot be wearing woman hair to please who, when there is no food at home. Yeah. You see, so it means that it's, you are trying to give impression to people outside. Yeah, but it's people outside because it's, it's, you, yeah. you don't need the hair inside. Yeah, you don't. Because when you are with your husband at home, you put nets. Of course, so he, he, he cannot be buying expensive thing. I'm trying to look. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Why are you always impressive? come as sharp? You yeah. Know? And it's only the, uh, one thing will come into my mind while wow, my wife is changing. Yeah. You see, and every man should think like that because of it. Before you know it, there is another guy outside before, okay. that your wife is dressing for that, you know, just to demand to, just to the Yeah. It's very, very bad. Yeah. So, but many men are not. But somebody say in a situation where the wife have the final say in the family, there's a situation where a man cannot tell the wife the man. I said it because I said they are marine daughters. When the husband said this thing you are wearing is no good, so what is wrong with what Of course, yeah, you know that this so in that case is something is something is gone. And in the second case where that the women can afford, maybe the woman is doing business too, and they can afford. When you see your husband, your wife suddenly, that's how we should help each other. Yeah. Most men don't have their wife at all. That, that if is your it. wife wear clothes, check on it. This is not how you used to dress. What is happening here? Yeah, that is it. You see, if the wife is have money on itself, yeah, and begin to buy something, yeah. That's all in marriage. You see, we men and women easily discover these little things. Yeah. You know, once a woman begins to look at a man begin to you see a wise woman and a wise man should always be able to know that it's something that is going yeah. on. Yeah. Because I believe that this dressing of a thing, you know, that is a way a lady will dress. That's what much understand the yeah, two husband will come with Of course, that is a way a lady will dress the husband. The husband will like, why are you not dressing like this? Because, you know, because the what you are wearing, why since when do you start? It's it's, it's already are, are you not you know it is my that I was being transformed by the renewal. I renew of your mind. That's what I'm saying. When you were dressing good and you not start dressing bad, your mind has been corrupted. Of course, your mind has been corrupted, yeah. Because what's up? Because you should be transformed. Because it's the mind that control your heart. Yeah, that is whatever that's... you do is the mind that control it. Whatever you do. Is the mind? I was telling my my daughter within the week. I said, please, I I go for the checkup. I have a checkup time with him because of the stress of blood pressure those days. And he told me I'm discharging you. Nothing is found. You're okay. I said, can you say I'm okay? I need some. He said, but you are not sick. Everything is in order. This is about a few days ago. Yeah. I said, yes, I know I'm okay, but I'm being stressed. If I could also be taking some checkup, he said you are stressed because you need to relax your mind. Of course, that is it. I'm like, oh, what are you saying? So I'm discharging you because every test rose you are okay. You just need to take your time and relax your mind. 
I'm saying, Lord, see my mind. The man is writing. I'm telling you, I'm closing this chapter. We have checked you are not sick. Go. Is the man told me said he work with their mind. Go and relax. I'm busy. He yeah. said there is no medicine. I should go and rest. That I should give myself some time to rest and get myself. So it is the mind that dictates what to do. Yeah, yeah, that is it. It's if I suddenly change now, my mind is changed. Because I reason I'm not a madman. I reason before taking a stand. Yeah. So if a man or a woman sees something suddenly change, it's not going to be possible to put their wife in order. You know that that is true. That's yeah. it. But if the woman doesn't hear yeah, because I'm still at the opinion that so no, no, if the, you see, Pastor, that is a different thing that you are in you know, order means you're not a agree. I'm the not point that you are not agree of what your wife is doing. But seeing it, you see, that's we know that these days many women do so many things to you know to help themselves. Yeah. You know, and and major majority of them help themselves and yeah. also help the family. But you see, in a marriage that this dressing and you know your wife is dressing the way you man does not like so and if you are not correcting the lady and the lady just go on and be dressed in your marriage is in danger it's in danger so he must spoke out even though if it's not taken yeah. but he must spoke out so speak he, out, speak out. and 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 they and and let the people know that wow yeah okay, because somebody may ask you why your wife is dressing somehow and if your wife your your respond your respond to people we know that why well, you're not agreeing not what your wife is doing yeah. so but if you are not speaking anything we look like the woman have taken total charge of you so yeah. it's not good for you to relax so yeah. you must speak something because that's what's happening because in fact I, I know what i'm saying somebody talking about pastor wife now pastor wife. if i do say it if mommy doesn't dress well and daddy cannot say it because mommy will react so that is watching mommy and mommy is giving their own signal everything we do in life is a signal yeah. It's either a good signal or a wrong signal. But the truth is that low self-esteem is what has caused this. A woman, get it clear. Yeah. That time you used to dress very well. Nobody is telling you look nice because people know you already look nice. Nobody is telling you look sharp because you already look sharp. It's your way of doing things. But when you change, when you change, don't let that you look sharp to make you believe that. I spoke to a lady not too long ago from, it's her last year, I took from Called the lady because what she was wearing was too bad. Too bad. I'm like, this is not the lady I used to know. I haven't spoken to her. I knew that she was operating with low self esteem. And I haven't spoken to several people. I have come to understand it that many of them have been applauded wrongly. Some are called a gallant mommy. Uh, these days, eh, the way you are shiny. Eh? So with low brain people, it yeah, enters them. Entered, yeah, yeah. It enters them. So tomorrow they want to make. So when they are wearing, they want somebody to take them. You yeah, look beauty. nice, yeah. yeah. So that's why when they come finally, and somebody come and say, you are not dressing well, so it's like, you are jealous. So their friends can't even say it anymore. Because they are looking for who we tell them. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's why a woman must work with vision and the spirit of God. So that you, you know who you are already. So nobody needs to tell you you dress fine to be happy. There are people that just want somebody to applaud them before they, if, if they feel secure. I might not more beautiful enough. I might not looking good. They will marry me or they try by all means. That's just some of the guy we did deliverance for. One sister, sister, Spanish girl, Vanessa. She was one that said to us clearly, after delivering a white Spanish girl, she started put on a normal long skirt. I will, I'm like, what happened? He said the, way, the reason why she put on those skipping clothes before is to seduce me. A white girl I thought was not knowing what she was doing. She said, This is why she was putting on those skipping clothes. But who was supposed to do me? Now that she has going to life to cry, she started putting on no mask. So if you don't do it for anybody's sake, then why are you doing it? That's the picture God is asking. So that's why it's good that husband and wife should keep money together. Because in doing so, both of them to speak to themselves whenever they want to use money. Understand what you are saying? Different one. Yeah, you see, Pastor, the, the problem, I don't actually know why. The ladies dress like that because I don't know. I don't know why. Insecurity. Yeah, there is security. Yeah, insecurity. Yeah, yeah, it's low self esteem. Yeah, the the problem is that you are not giving yourself a value. No. You are you are just disvaluing yourself. Yeah. And you know, you see, that is one thing. Wow. The women are wearing, you know, they will wear these leggings that yeah. very tight, and you are walking in this. You will be embarrassed of this small small boy that will approach you. Thank you. It's not. It's not even good. For, you see, if you're a married woman, even though if you're a single lady, it, there is no room for you to dress like because in your mind, it may have not, you know, mean anything, but 
So your legs in mind is corrupt. Yeah, yeah, that, that is, is not it. corrupt. That is no good. Yeah, but the, if the, you dress any and you are happy, your mind is already spiced. You know, first of all, I didn't, ah. I didn't know why the the spirit of God in you will tell you that it's not normal. A married woman should dress like that. And that's what we are saying. You see, because of dressing like that, you, you just give yourself, you know, open the door for anybody to talk to you. Yeah, you are, you are, you are not, you are not yeah, Somebody must talk to you. Yeah, there's no way you walk on your street and return back to you without a guy talking. Yeah, to you, and you will be embarrassing. And if the person doesn't he approach you, the person will insult you, like of embarrass course. you, like, yeah. who is this? It's she not good. There's no even any. There's no. There's no any reason for you to dress like that. No, because you already married. So what are you looking? And the same person will tell you, wow, God bless you, sir. You look nice. At the back, yeah. Say this guy, look at what is she? No, uh, uh, say, there's no reason. Is, there's no reason. Spirit. There's no reason for you to dress like that. Low self esteem, believers. You see where this message come from? Somebody had this divine revelation some days ago. The Lord said, don't come to my house with skimping clothes. Any clothes you need to wear and be drawing down is already an error. Okay? And, Minister, do you know I have not seen women in life who are fulfilled dressing anyhow? Oh, my God. Great women who are really fulfilled in life, they don't dress naked. So that's why I say it's insecurity. Yeah. It's low self-esteem. People who have something to offer, guide themselves jealously. They don't dress anyhow. Great women have had a bout on earth. When you Google their platform, it is model that used to dress naked. If you want to be a model, go and be a model. Let them see that what you are doing is a professionalism. No dressing naked to come to church, you're a pastor wife, or you're a sister in the church. How can you wear tights and leggings? Or how can you wear a mini gum? A mini gum. To come to church. To come to church. I'm sitting there in pastor seat as a pastor wife, and you are using towel to cover. Just as that sister said. How? How do you feel? Is it this sort to you? Children won't like you. It's a bad image. You are just happy. What moves? I'm telling you what moves women that made them dress like this. See as you find. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. Because they are not being paid money for being naked. No, they want to. Nothing be. else. Yeah. You look gallant, you look mommy shots, you look beautiful shots, you look this one shots, you look everything shots, gallant this. You I see as you can't look like smug, see as you can't fight. Nothing else. Nobody the bear puts. Just go and be a mother. Let's know that you are doing the nakedness business and you are being paid. I know women, it just you see as you can't fight. See as you can't shop. Nothing else. And God is angry. You are listening to me now before we close. Wherever you are watching me from. Thank you. Great women don't dress anyhow. Model without brain. I like that. Whatever everybody doing, you see everybody doing Facebook and their breasts must be here. If you never see their breasts, they never can show. Why don't you just remove their clothes? Let us see it completely. What's their sense of hiding it? And some of you not go fear, go carry Bible. Still they preach, still bring out your busts. How do you? You say you will see some with tight leggings that is showing everything and wear just spaghetti on top yeah. and go out. Honestly. Yes. It, it's so that provocative, is eh? that is what it, And a married woman, not a single woman. A married woman? Yeah. A married woman with the whole legs when bent go one, one corner. I saw one yesterday, I said, upon all this bending leg, that was a white woman. Upon this leg, when you see those scatter, go and go Jericho, go and go Gaza. Then you still wear tights. A married woman. The clothes will not even cover to the last. Nothing, nothing. We are tight. The legs are not straight up. Yeah. I'm not condemning God that form you. God needed you to put skin. I saw a woman. Is it, what did I go to consume yesterday? I saw the woman with the leg and everything bent on one side. I'm like, if it is skirt, you put here now. We are not going to know the way you look. Believers, God said he's not happy. For me to come and be screaming this now, huh? God is not happy with your leggings and your body. And some of you pastors now go allowed then they worship. Pastors is unfair. See what the Lord did to that young sister in that revelation? She was arranging chairs. And Jesus got provoked and left. And she was begging, Lord Jesus, stay now. Jesus said, I know they stay here. Tell them. That they don't wear skin pink clothes to worship me. Yeah. The Lord said it's no more in many places because of the daughters of Jezebel. 
we are still. That's why they can't worship God freely. Why? The clothes are too short. That's why you can't be free to worship God. Why are you wearing mini clothes? Why? If it is not the wrong spirit that enters you, if it's not the water spirit, can you explain to me, women, whether you are a Christian or not a Christian, women, does not long skirt look good on you? Why are you wearing mini skirts? Even if you don't wear it to the left, even to the knee, at least let it cover you. Women, can you really explain now? Let's reason together. Why are you wearing mini skirts? Why are you wearing inner wear, interiors, tight wear? Why are you wearing them as mini skirts? Even when we ask movie, there are some clothes I can't even wear as movie. Movie. I remember when I had that one movie, even Minister himself was telling me, this movie that made me pet my lips like this. I said, I just needed to what? As a movie, oh, even depicting a character, it wasn't easy for me. Women, can we just explain? If it is not a rogue spirit, why? He said they want to belong. Someone is at the corner. This room will give excuses of all things. Thank you. What we are going to see in summer. Look at what is happening now. A no, young lady will just carry anything. a young lady just carry Facebook minister. Open the private part and be screaming. You think it's normal? Marine Kingdom is making men to lust after her. She's drawing souls. Why you are busy watching that young lady naked? You are laughing now. No, no, no. She has a target. As you are watching now, Mr. Man, you are lusting. She's drawing soul. That's why I need the when I hear say, uh, the girl fall, the, the pastor fall. Now girl fall him. This is how they cause the pastor. I don't let deal with the pastor say he not be correct in people. Eh? Now girl fall him. And you can't go for pastor finish. You can't record that for video. Eh? You are laughing. Eh? No, the point that he, he, we are talking about the people that we change because they the world have gone. Change. Yeah, the world have gone extreme. So he, you know, they, they, they break it that there is so many news that uh, you know Facebook make it that whatever that happened, we see it immediately. Yeah. But, but this is been happening before. But Facebook bring it to awareness. And it's not too much. Every day yeah. they grow. So and every day people Mr. now. Mr. Mepes, that they are not taking it as a normal. Advan yeah, they're taking advantage to show me. And the whole world is not yeah. taking it as a normal thing to dress like that. Of course, yeah, that is, that is what is happening. But those that is in their mind that have not yet started, that is what we are talking about. That it shouldn't go because it's don't it, go there. That's why we are preaching it. You don't need to go there because that life is not benefiting anything. That is why we are shouting it. Only one it. way that is just to have fire. You see, because this dressing of a thing, the devil is in it. The devil have gone, as, you know. These are the pattern to draw people to hellfire. Thank you. And because there is no reason a Christian should dress like that. Mm -hmm. And today, from the dressing already started from the altar, the pastor dressed like that. So many people are already dressing. And before, you know, people were already taking it as normal. Yeah. And they have entered deep to the world. So, yeah. please, it's not a good thing at all. It's not a good... Uh, you hear what somebody said? He said they are making Christianity laughing stuff. Yeah. If they are common governor invite them now, they will suit up in their best clothes. It's such a shame that vanity is replaced with eternity. Yeah. Now, now, now you catch it. Really? If a governor invite them, they dress well. Yeah, we are gone. Uh, but, but, but what's happening? Minister Lequeo. They believe that, yeah, because the governor will not see you. Governor, you know, your dressing is, you know, the, the way you dress is. So now God give them, but it's a finish. Wow, you know, it's a messy focus. So people believe that. Wow. But because they don't really dress like this to meet governors. No. And they dress corporate. Or even to go interview. To go interview. Governor, Thank governor you. Is governor is too far. Governor to go interview. Who gives the governor? Governor is too. We are talking about even interview. To go and even look for a job. They don't yeah, dress like nobody that. Nobody will do that. Yeah. Because, yeah, because they will dress on suits. Oh, our God is watching. Yeah, they dress on suits. The way so that they. The, the manager there or the person that intervened them will see them they are responsible because the way you dress oh my God. make people address you so there is this kind of dressing that with the white but oh around God. you look at you as a responsible person oh my god so when they are going to interview they dress corporate oh my god oh my god is somebody hearing that so it is church it's only church and yeah. when pastor tell you you verse come out because you no know, because i believe god is not paying you but the truth of the matter, Pastor, there are so many churches who are not even preaching dressing. No, 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 they like it. That is the problem. Not that they are wearing it to church, but the pastors are not talking. A former married daughter said, yeah. my mother likes so-so pastor. 
<laughs> but they are mysteries on it. Yeah, pastors are. A young guy put a former because I believe God have delivered. Although I know say so you never deliver. You see, they do like this. You never deliver. If you are watching me now, I know say so you the watch if I see you. You know, so you never deliver. Me, I know just carry your joy. She used her mouth. Tell me, say, he mama for water, I like that pastor. Eh? He mentioned to some pastor. I said, why? He said, plenty of our daughter's food there. He shot I shed tears that year. He said, plenty of our daughter's food there. And they are comfortable. Ay! 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 I'm telling you. He said, I know she was not the one talking to us. Somebody speaking from her. He said, my mama, I like that pastor. Eh? I said, why? He said, we have our daughters free there. He said, many of them have peace in their leg. Many of them have the, our peace in their waist. Many of them said they are free. He said, my mama like that pastor. Eh? My mama hates me. My mama like that pastor. Eh? I said, explain. He said, oh, the pastor doesn't, hear, he doesn't disturb us. We have many of our daughters there. He's, yeah. Imagine a church where you have several married daughters. That's why marriages are breaking. No, no, no. I mean, I break it because my daughters are there to help you. I break it. Pastor, wake up. Trying to have them in church by all means. They will break your home for you. So, Pastor, like my mama, my mama, my mama for what I like that, Pastor. Eh? Can you eat there? Remember that statement? My mind pricked me. Say, so I said, because she don't, he doesn't preach against it. Many of our daughters are there. They have bees on their leg. They have bees on their waist. See how those bees, legs, and waist? Huh? So our mama like her, you know, they disturb us at all. Hey! The innocent people, they there. Innocent boys are there. I say, pray to those demonic gang up. After he has said, the pastor give her belly. Now she herself even give the pastor belly. <laughs> now she knock. So if, anytime you see them recording, recording say, pastor, eh? Mommy, beat for waste is not good. You know what I'm not good? What is beats they do for waste? It's not good. I like as you ask. Beat for waste, that's not very convenient. Now, Juju daughters, they start to put bead for their waste. Before they come later, people come there on their own. Anything you do on your own, beat or fair go put on. You remember somebody that called us, most of you, that when they were about to cross river water, the people there who are selling said, remove all your bead. Most of those beads, Guys, carelessly put on their waist is very, very bad. Hmm? We'll reveal some. Which they will call, call reveal some secret of water kingdom. All those beads. When children were growing up, they used to buy it for them from some local and water kingdom. They were doing it by instruction. Okay? So when some guys grow up, they begin to buy them by themselves. Many were initiated. Because why are you going to buy beads to put in waste? Who put it there? And for what? So bid for waste, not good. See some guys go put some chain where they're supposed to put for neck. Go put them for leg. You say go go do it like mumu. You don't know it. The mumu shortly not be normal one. Many of them too are not normal. Okay? It's not good. Mm, so like the night, you can see some things they happen. Go go use a covenant, you bid for waste, no good. If not the woman, there are some people they put for leg. Go put some chain. Look at your eyeball very well. You're not genuine. Hmm? Eh, nah, but never put on. Please don't throw it away. Throw it in ignorance. Thank God you never put on for the innocent girl waste. Beat for waste is not good. So we are rounding up now. So, Minister, what is the last concern for women who love dressing naked? No, the, the concern is that if you're a married woman, dress the way you are dressed. Dressing, the dressing that we dress gives you respect. It's because of one thing that is, is, is normal, Pastor, is that, that this value our dressing gave. Well, nobody's telling you that you should dress scattered or dress like, a, you know, but dress this moderate, dress couple, you know, let's, you know, let somebody admire what you wear, but let somebody, you know, let somebody take from you. Don't just uh, dress, you know, and have a motive in, in, in your heart, Behind. you know, to please uh, somebody, somebody you know, wonderful. Dress, that dress, you know, to, to be a role model to other person. Mm -hmm. Let your dressing, let somebody want see, well, I like the way you dress, and I want to be dressing like you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you are giving a message. Even though you don't know how to preach, but your dressing can give it's a message. It's a conversation. You see, and yeah. God will be glorifying your mm. dressing. Even though you don't have money to be giving that kind of dressing, mm. God can even be filling your account just because you are dressing the way 
preaching. Your you message, you just right. be preaching a message. See, so it's very, very good that you dress that the way heaven mm. wants you to dress. So you are not just giving a message, but you are giving a powerful message to a generation. It's very important that you dress well. Mm, I love that. Thank you. Yeah. He said, Don't dress because you want to impress somebody. Yeah. You see that? Don't dress because of because most people that are dressing are dressing because of they want somebody to tell them you look where you look. That's actually why women spend their yeah. money. Yeah. That's why they spend their money. If they buy the hair, another person is wearing hair more expensive. Oh. But when they buy it, they want somebody to somebody must notice me and tell me, yeah. oh my god, that's just the problem. And that's what we call low self-esteem. Yeah. So yeah. please stop dressing because you want somebody to give you some applause. Don't dress for somebody's sake. Dress for kingdom's sake. Yeah. That's it. So dress having the fear of God in mind. When you are dressing, think how God will feel, yeah. not how man will feel. I think this is actually the truth. Yeah. So believers, we believe some of you are still hearing us. Everyone watching all of our satellites, you sister that is going to choir tomorrow, putting on skimpy clothes. Believe it that when you wear these clothes, people will not like it, sweetheart. People love it when you dress well. Yeah. A young girl was complaining to God, I can't do this, God. I can't, why can I change my wares? And the Lord brought my picture in her dream. I said, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? That is it. You see? Said, God brought your picture and said, isn't she beautiful? It is how you call yourself. If you say yourself beautiful, you are beautiful, sweetheart. But don't get naked. You are not naked to be beautiful. There is no beauty in nakedness. You are seductive when you are naked. You are seductive when you dress nude. Don't, don't dress because you want somebody to praise you. Don't dress, dress because of what you believe heaven will think of you. Is God happy? That is it. Does God like what I'm wearing? Am I a model to somebody? Who wants to be dressing like me? I do say it. I never told anybody in our church not to put hearing God to dress corporate. No, no, it's not a message I really preach. But at least they know that I'm not dressing naked. So for them to dress naked, it will touch their hearts. Like our leader is not dressing anyhow. So we preach it. But so why they behold your chase conversation, yeah. they will change. Exactly. Your conversation is what you do. So, Pastor Wife, if your members are getting naked today, you start dressing well, you'll be as amazed at the way people God will transform them. All of them want to look at you. I've seen some church, we have some parents in the Lord. You see the way they dress. So said to me, Wow, you dress moderate. Your mommy dressed well. I say, It wasn't about my mommy at all. It's about I know by the Spirit of God that I should dress well. And she wouldn't have even attracted me as a mother if I didn't have the mind to dress well. Yeah. That's why so people can never love you or love me because they don't they don't believe, don't come and put this mindset. Nobody is giving you that mindset. No, you yeah. just love it. A young daughter said to me, the first day she came to meet me in Sweden, she was wearing a very blood white hair and a and a, a jeans that was uh, torn like that. Why she started following me and following me, she said to me, I started dropping. Those clothes, I cannot more meet you now with blonde hair. I cannot more meet you now with mini skirt. Did I preach to her? No. I didn't preach it to her. She still remembering and telling me, you know, when I came to meet you, sweet, I was put on blood hair and I put on tata. She said, the way you embrace me, beautiful, love me. I'm like, wow. He said, but after then, I keep on, after I can't meet you with such clothes anymore. I can't even wear them anymore. I'm like, who not taught you to do that? I didn't preach it to her to do that. She just saw that I just like to be the way she's dressing. Yeah. We are all models for Christ's sake. Confirm. People should see us and change from their former ways. Of course. Not to see us and say, eh, okay, my church before now, Mumu, don't they let me dress? No, your heart will teach you to dress well. You are not religious. You are not religious, <laughs> but dress moderate. Yeah. Dress corporate. Let somebody say you and say, oh my God, if she can be decent, why can't I? If she can be normal, let heaven rejoice over you. Yeah. Don't imagine that revelation where God left the church. So what worship was there? That was to let everything be done in decency and in Money. order. Yeah. Very, very important. I want to round up now. So there is a modest way of dressing for we Christians. Must dress the way we want to be addressed. Otherwise, little children will wave at you instead of kneeling down to greet you. Don't lose your crown. Stop. Confirm. Confirm. I love that statement. Don't lose your crown. Stop dressing like babies when you're already an adult. I love that. You see, there's a statement, sharp statement there. Instead of literally to kneel down to greet you, they wave at you. I, I, that statement is, I conclude with that. You see? You are honored by the way you dress. When we're growing up those days, there are people you see in occasion. You take their name and bring them to front seats. Of course. You don't understand? When they say the way you dress, the way you are dressed, 
if you are a honorable person by title and you dress skimpy, when they call you out, they will be ashamed. Yeah. But when you are supposed to be a young person, and you, when they are looking for, even in some churches, oh my God, when they are looking for people to bring to fill a space, they bring you by how you are dressed. Of course. Your dress is make a way for you at the front seat. That's right, yeah. And since some churches, when the seat is empty, the entire congregation look for people who are decently dressed and bring them to the front seat. You see? So really, when you dress like a small girl, if your member is the one telling you how to dress like her, it's high. But when you look cultured and dress matured, they greet you mommy yeah. and greet you where. That's the truth. Because you've been able to honor yourself that you're an adult. So when an adult begins to pass, when I was a child, I spoke like a child, I act like a child. When I grown up, I put away childish things. Yeah. So if you're a leader, you wear tights and your member wear tights. Now I five. But if you dress like mommy, and they would expect you and say, Mommy. Yeah. The that mommy can never dress with tight dress. But at the ask Una, I don't up. After all this morning, guess speaking in tongue. Una heart, fist they wear tight dress. Yeah, Pastor, he, he, uh, apart from that, he, he, that is a, the question that is always uh, when you see, even if unbeliever wear it, we say, Why? Well, it's not a born again yet. But when the, Christ, when the Christian is wearing it, he's, he always asks yourself that kind of question. But, Pastor, uh, the last thing I want to say tonight is that, you see, there are so many young girls that are not married now, you know, and this message is applicable to them. Yeah. Why is that? Because why? He give your, if you are not married today, you don't need to waste your money buying the clothes. You know, there are some people who are buying clothes they cannot wear to church. Yeah. You see, and, and when you are married, there are so many people that cannot wear this cloth because you are already married. Yeah. Newly. Yeah. And because your mother-in-law will look at you. Wow, why you change like? your box, buy clothes you see, But me. the point that you can start from now, prepare, even though you are not married. For a future. And prepare your future. And it will even make a matter to know that you are ready for marriage. Yeah, because the way, the way you are wearing, the clothes you are dressed, the clothes you are wearing today, determine the kind of husband that you are going to purchase. Attract, you see, so it's very, very important that they start now. Because As they can be dressing this set already. Dress this set because there is a time it may, it may go into marriage. Yeah. And at that moment, your husband is not capable enough. And it's even a good dress and I'll bring a good man. Yeah. Just as I said, if a man run after you with the lustful wears, yes. it is not going to be about love. Of it's going to be about loss. Yeah, that is it. It's, it does it. Of, 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 so there are so many people that are they go into marriage today but don't have a cloth to wear. Yeah. Why? Because the cloth they have been wearing it's before is not fitable. But that's why they are not wearing it continuously in marriage. Yeah, and you see that why everybody looking at you, you didn't have a cloth. Minister, they are wearing it now. Before. But Minister, this generation, yeah. That why you think didn't fit into marriage. It's not in marriage. Yeah, that is People are even not going to marry. But before, you say, I don't know if they just married now, no clothes at all. Whereas, guys were already so scared and blind when they marry, they still put it on. But these days, you are even married before you are going to look for that pieces scarf. Because you want to continue. When the man talk, he say, ah, did I marry you for you to come and tell me yeah, to? Oh, do my, my dear, skipping clothes does not make you young. Okay? What make you young is the love of God. The glory of the Lord upon you. Skimping clothes. People see your love doesn't change anything. People see your boss doesn't add to you. Your future, your vision, who you can bless, who you can impart, who can listen to you. Yeah. What God sees concerning you, your self dignity, your honor is what make you. It's not skimping clothes. Mm -mm. It's low self esteem, a low mind, visionless that make you think that people you are looking for. No, no, no. When you have say something to impart people, they are already too much on your side. But when you are suffering from low self esteem, you want somebody to be every you want people to talk to you, to interact with you. That's why you are pushing to make people happy so that they can be your friend. Mm -mm. When you already have much to offer, you are concerned about your future. You will not know about to wear nonsense. Nonsense. If any man is in Christ, he's a new, new creature. creature. All things, including your clothes, okay. are passed away. Don't tell me born again of the heart. After the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. Your dressing have a voice. And it is speaking. We know you by your dressing. If I see your dressing, I know your character. Okay? If you don't know. And a good man will see your dressing and know what you meant. Yeah. Your dressing communicate message to men. If you're a single lady, you are not yet married. But you are dressing corporate. The man knows this one is already a wife material. But if it is a mini one, any man that comes to marry you with mini skirt, 
is lusting after your laps. And there are other thousands Jezebel laps that are outside. Now they say, we just married still they carry women. Yes, because it was your laps that attracted them out. I pray for you that will not be your portion. Amen. We pray for you that this message will touch you, yes, that Lord. you will not go in the ways of the world. Amen. We pray for that the Lord will touch your heart. Yes, the Lord. Lord will help you to see Christ in you. Amen. May you be a kingdom blessing. Ha, May you be a kingdom voice. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I speak to your heart, every yes, corrupt Lord. mind. By the reason of this word today, may the Lord transform your heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. even as you go to church tomorrow, every indecent clothes that you have gathered for tomorrow, Mashiach, may the Lord touch your heart and drop them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. and as you take heed of this word, may the spirit of the living God reside in your heart. In the name of Jesus, Amen. And I pray for that pastor, that pastor wife, the grace to stand your ground and communicate a message to guys and daughters in your church. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare peace. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and a sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, rest and abide with us no. now forever, man. Surely, God's, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall join the house of the Lord forever. forever. Yeah. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Shalom. Bye. You are watching what they are changing lives. Watch, watch, they are changing lives.